Hey everyone, how's it going? So I'm back with another Godzilla video, and in today's video, I want to show you how to draw Burning Godzilla stepping on King Ghidorah's chest. Now I hope you guys follow along, and if you have any other fun Godzilla ideas, let me know and I'll try my best to draw them. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Now, to start off with Burning Godzilla stepping on King Ghidorah, we're going to begin with Godzilla. So, I'm going to start right up here, and we're just going to begin with his face. So, I want to start by making a line that's just going to go down, and then it's going to come back like this. Then we'll make a little line that's just going to go down and then up for the eye. I'm going to bring this line back and bring it down. And then we're going to bring a couple little lines down here. And let me get the cat out of the way for a minute. Now, starting underneath the eye, I like to add a couple little lines. Then starting here, I like to make a line that just comes back or up and that's gonna come down a little bit. Starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's going to go down, and we're going to bring it down to here. And we're going to bring this line back to here. And then we're going to bring it down here and over for the mouth. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down for the chin. We're going to go over and curve up for the side. I like to add a little line here for the back of the mouth and a little line here for the nose, the little line that comes up over. We'll add some sharp teeth in here and a little line that comes across the top of the eye. I'm going to make a couple more little lines that just go back and then they come down for the back of the neck. And right here, I'm going to add some little curved lines here to show where the neck is kind of curved. Right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and in just a little bit. And then I'm going to bring this up and over like this for the chest. I'm going to draw another little line down for the stomach. And then right here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to come down at an angle, and then it's going to come straight down here. Starting here, I'm going to add a couple little curved lines. And I'm going to add a long line that's going to go up to a point and come back. I'll add another little one that comes to a point and then back. Next, I'm going to bring this line up, and I'm going to add a couple of lines that curve up. And I'm going to make a line that's going to curve back. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go out, and then it's going to come down. And another one's going to come back here. And this line's going to come down. I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down to a point. And then I'll add a couple more little sharp claws over here. Now starting here, I'm just going to curve this up. And I'm going to draw a long line that's just going to curve up. It's going to come back here. We're going to round it off and we'll bring it right back and up to here. I'm going to add a couple little curved lines on these claws. Now starting here, I'm just going to add a little line that comes down for the chest of Ghidorah. And we'll draw a little line that comes back here. I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up, and it's going to come down. And then right over here, I'm going to add a line that's going to come down for Godzilla's other leg. I'm 
Now starting here, I'm going to add a couple little curved lines and we're gonna go down and then bring it back for his claws and another one here. I'm gonna bring this line down and up and we'll curve this line up with another little line and then bring this down. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come up and we're gonna curve it to here. And then I'm gonna bring this line down a little bit. We'll make a line that's just going to go down. We're gonna come up and bring it back to here. And then we're gonna bring a line that's gonna come out to here. We're doing this a little bit backwards. Bring a line that's gonna come up and down. And then starting here, I'm gonna make a little kind of check mark shape for an eye. Draw another little line that goes down and up. And we'll just kind of bring this line up here. I'm gonna make some points on here. And then I'm gonna make a long pointed horn that's gonna come back. And I'm going to add some more points over here. Our next step is to bring this line down to here for the neck. Now starting here, I'm just going to draw a long line that's just going to go down. It's going to go right off the paper, and that's going to be where his wing would be. We'll add a little curved line down and then some sharp teeth and a little curved line for the nose and a few little lines underneath here. Now I'll add another little line that's going to come back here and we'll add a little line that comes down and we're going to bring this down. Starting here we're going to draw a long line that's just going to go down and up. And we'll make a couple little spikes kind of back here for Ghidorah's tail. And we'll bring this back. I'm going to bring this line down to show where Godzilla's other leg would be. Now starting right about here, we're going to add another face. So I'm going to draw another line that's just going to go down and up like a check mark. Little line's just gonna go down and over for the eye. We'll add some little points right above the eye. And I'll make a little line's gonna go out and it's gonna come up. Draw a line's gonna go down. We're gonna bring it back and curve it back here. And I'm gonna bring this line down here like this mouth is really open. Bring it down, we'll come over and we'll start adding some spikes for the side of the face. And we'll add a little curved line with some more sharp teeth and a little curved line for the nose. I'm gonna add that long spike back here for that horn. And then we're just gonna draw this line down and bring it to here. Do the same thing, we'll bring this down and then to here. And we'll just kind of make it jump across there. Now I'm gonna put one more head right here. I'm going to draw a line that's just gonna go down and it's gonna come back. Another little eye. We'll make the little points on here. And I'll make a little line over with a bump for the nose. I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go down. And we're going to come back and down. We're going to go up and curve up for the chin. We'll add a little curved line for the horn. And then we'll add some more kind of spikes over here. A little curved line and some teeth little dot for the nose.
Then I'm just going to curve this line down for this neck, and we're just going to curve it down here. Now I'm going to bring this line up, and I'm going to put one of these big hooks on here for part of Ghidorah's wing. And we're just going to bring it down, and the draw line is going to go up and down, just to show that there's part of the wing. And we'll add a couple little long lines in here. Next, starting over here, I'm going to add another tail. We're just going to add a line up, some big kind of pointy spikes, and we'll bring it down. Now let's add some of the spikes onto Godzilla. So I'm going to start up here, and I'm just going to make a couple little pointed spikes. And then we're going to start making them get bigger as they come back up. His spikes kind of start to curve different directions as they get bigger along the back. So we're just going to add lots of these right along here. We're just going to make lots and lots of spikes. I'm also going to put a couple more kind of hidden behind there too. I'm going to draw a couple little lines down here and a little line here. And we're going to add a couple more, more little detail lines over here. We'll add a couple little curved lines on the leg and a few little broken lines right around where the knee would be on each side. Draw some lines that come up and we'll add some claws onto Godzilla. A few broken lines right around here. We'll make a long broken line down here and some quick lines just to show some texture on the bottom of his tail. And I'll throw a couple little curved lines over here too. And then I like to just kind of come in here with some different little broken lines and add some little details all over. I'm going to add some different spikes along the back of Ghidorah's neck. And we'll put some more back here too. Do a couple more along here. And I also like to add a long line that comes down. I'm going to add a separate line here because that one neck was kind of thin. And we'll add another line here. We'll add some quick little curved lines across here. And a few more here. A couple little broken lines by the knee and some claws on the foot. I'm going to add a couple more little extra lines around here. And a few more, put a few lines by the eyes. And just add a few details. And there you go, there is your drawing of Godzilla stepping on the chest of Ghidorah. And this is actually the burning Godzilla. So he's going to be shooting his blast and he's going to be kind of glowing with that red and orange kind of flame fire color on him. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.